everyone. Welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco. And I'm Erica. And today we are going back in time. That's right. We're visiting the 1950s. All right. So we are going to the year 1950. And, well, we are going to look at some of the typical and common words and phrases that were used back in that year. Yes. All of these words and phrases you might still hear today, but they are really a little bit old fashioned. All right, so we have some words that we need to look at before we listen to our dialogue. So let's look at these words in vocabulary preview. Vocabulary preview. We have two words we're going to hear in the dialogue. The first one sock hop. Sock hop. A sock hop. Okay, now this is very old-fashioned and probably not used anymore. No, not used anymore. But a sock hop is a school dance. Okay, so all the kids after school would get together and dance rock and roll in exactly. the gym or yep. something. Mm -hmm. And, well, it's very popular and very common among American culture in those days. Yes, in 1950. So you would still maybe see this in a movie or something yep. like that. Yep. And our second word is still used today. Sadie Hawkins dance. A Sadie Hawkins dance. All right, a Sadie Hawkins dance. So a Sadie Hawkins dance is a dance when the girls ask the guys to be their date. Okay, so it's a party mm -hmm. and the guys don't invite the girls. No, the girls invite the guys. Okay, so it's a little bit of a reverse of roles there. Yes. That's interesting. So in this case, the girls have to come up to the guys and say... Hey, do you want to go to the dance with me? Mm -hmm. Very good. So this still happens today in North America, so you will probably hear it sometime. And I guess now we could listen to our dialogue for the first time, and it takes place at a high school. Hey, Tracy, how are you doing? I'm swell, Sandy. Hey, listen, you want to go to the sock hop with me this Friday? It'll be a blast. First of all, it's the Sadie Hawkins dance. The girls got to ask the guys also. Oh, right. So when are you going to ask me? I've had my eye on you for a while. Hey, buddy, ease off my girl, man. Or do you want a knuckle sandwich? Cool it, guys. Your girl? Says who? Says me, pipsqueak. <sighs> All right, so a little bit of a discussion over a girl, very common as yes, well. Yes, yep. So we're going to be looking at some of these words that were maybe a little bit difficult in the dialogue in Language Takeaway. Language Takeaway. Well, we've got five phrases and words from the dialogue. Now, the first thing we heard was Sandy said, Hey, ya. Hey, ya. Hey, ya. All right. Now, an interjection, a way of saying hi, but very old-fashioned. hey -ya. Yep. Basically, hi, you. Or hey, you. Yep. Okay, so hey uh, I guess you would still use it today, though, right? Yeah, it's a still a normal way to, to greet someone. All right. Very friendly. Mm-hmm. Okay, and what about our second word? Well, Sandy asks Tracy, how are you? And Tracy replies, I'm swell. I'm swell. Swell. I'm just swell. When you are swell, you are great. You're great. And again, swell is an old-fashioned way of saying I'm good or I'm yep. great. Mm -hmm. But you would still hear it. Yes. And it also is used to describe things. That was a swell party. Okay, swell. Yep. All right, now for our next word. They got into a fight and Tracy said, cool it, guys. Cool it. Cool it. Cool it. So why don't we listen to some examples of cool it? before we explain it. Example one. Just cool it. Now is not the right time to get angry. Example two. You need to cool it and stop yelling at me. Example three. Don't cry, Pam. Just cool it. You will be okay. All right, so cool it, guys. Basically, it means... Relax. Take it easy. Yeah. Don't get into a fight. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is one my dad used to say to me and my sisters all the time. <laughs> cool it, kids. Stop fighting. Very good. So it is still very commonly used, I would say. Yep. 
All right, now for our last two words. These are a little bit more old-fashioned. Yes, straight from 1952. They talk about a knuckle sandwich. All right, he says, "Do you want a knuckle sandwich?" A knuckle sandwich. What are we talking about here? All right. Well, on your hand, yeah, you have above your fingers, you have your knuckles. Okay, so those are the bumpy parts yeah, on my hand. The bones on the top part of your hand. So he's basically saying, "Do you want me to punch you?、Mm. Right? Do you want me to hit you with my、yes. hand, with my fist?" So it's a in very informal way of saying a punch,、yeah. knuckle sandwich. I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. Right. And for our last word, he called Tommy called Sandy a pipsqueak. 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 A pipsqueak. Now this is kind of an insult, but again, very old-fashioned. Yes. A pipsqueak is a very small person, right? A small person who is not strong. Okay. Or not powerful. So a small and weak person.、Mm-hmm. Pipsqueak. I guess nowadays you can still call somebody pipsqueak, but. Maybe in a lighter sense. It's you. You. It would be a little bit funny to call someone a pipsqueak. Okay, so a pipsqueak. Why don't we listen to our dialogue again? We're gonna slow it down a little bit so you can get all these words that we just looked at, and then we'll come back and look at some phrases. Hey, a Tracy. How are you doing? I'm swell, Sandy. Hey, listen. You wanna go to the sock hop with me this Friday? It'll be a blast. First of all, it's the Sadie Hawkins dance. The girls gotta ask the guys. Also, oh right. So when are you gonna ask me? I've had my eye on you for a while. Hey, buddy, ease off my girl, man. Or do you want a knuckle sandwich? Cool it, guys. Your girl says who? Says me, Pipsqueak. Okay, so that was a little bit easier to understand, but some great '50s style phrases and words. So why don't we look at some of these phrases now in Fluency Builder? Fluency Builder. All right, on Fluency Builder today, we're going to look at three phrases. Why don't we start with the first one? Sandy said that the party will be a blast. It'll be a blast. It'll be a blast. To be a blast. So if something is a blast, it's very fun.、Mm-hmm. It's entertaining. Yes, really, really fun. Okay, so the party was a blast. I had a great time last night. It was a blast. Okay. Very good. So very fun times. Yep, and you'll still hear this phrase used today. Now the next one. So Sandy said he had his eye on Tracy.、Mm-hmm. He said, "I've had my eye on you." To have your eye on someone. So if I have my eye on the new iPhone that came out, you you are watching it carefully because you want it. Okay, so. I'm keeping my attention on it because I want it. I have my eye on that sweater because it's on sale. Okay, so you really want that sweater. Yep. All right. So to have your eye on something or on someone,、mm-hmm. right? And for our last phrase, Tommy told Sandy, "Hey, buddy, ease off, my girl. Ease off. Ease off. Ease off." All right. So why don't we listen to some examples of how we could use ease off because it might be a little bit tricky, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Example one. You need to ease off the junk food. Example two. Matt is putting so much pressure on me these days. I wish he would ease off. Example three. You're pushing Susie too much. You need to ease off a bit. Okay, so it looks like you say this phrase "ease off" when somebody is、um, putting pressure on you or doing something to you that they shouldn't. Right? Maybe they're being too intense, or、yep. maybe annoying you.、Mm-hmm. So you tell them, "Hey, ease off." Yeah, relax. Stay back. Stay away. Very、yep. good. So ease off. Ease off, my girlfriend. Ease off the fatty foods. All right. So take it easy. Stay away from. Yep. Okay, so some great phrases there. I think it's a good idea for us to listen to our dialogue one more time, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about the 1950s.
Hey, Tracy, how are you doing? I'm swell, Sandy. L- hey, listen, you want to go to the sock hop with me this Friday? It'll be a blast. First of all, it's the Sadie Hawkins dance. The girls got to ask the guys. Also... Oh, right. So when are you going to ask me? I've had my eye on you for a while. Hey, buddy, ease off my girl, man. Or do you want a knuckle sandwich? Cool it, guys. Your girl? Says who? Says me, Pipsqueak. <gasps> okay, so the 1950s, a nice era, and this is the first of a small series that we're going to have of different words and phrases that were used back in the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, etc. That's right. So a little bit more time travel is coming up here in English Pod. Exactly, because a lot of these phrases are still used and you might even see them in movies or if you're talking to somebody that was maybe born in these eras, they might even still use them today. That's right. So do you guys know any English phrases or slangs from the 1950s. Why don't you visit our website at englishpod.com to tell us about it. All right, we'll see you guys there and also if you have questions or comments, please leave them on the comments section as well. Well, thanks for listening and until next time. Bye. Goodbye. The English Pod audio review. Listen to the meaning, then say the vocabulary word. Hi, you. Informal. Hey, yeah. Really good. Swell. Dance is held usually in high school gym or cafeteria. Sock hop. A very fun time. A blast. An informal dance, usually in high school, where girls invite boys. Sadie Hawkins dance. Focus your attention on something you want. Have one's eye on someone. Stop putting pressure on someone. Ease off. A punch. Knuckle sandwich. Relax. Take it easy. Cool it. Someone who is not important. Pip squeak. Get really angry and explode. Go ape. Be really happy. Be on cloud nine. A very cool person. Cool cat. Movie or film. Flick. A person who is not fun. Party pooper. It's no problem. No sweat. Let's try that faster. Dance is held usually in high school gym or cafeteria. Sock hop. Be really happy. Be on cloud nine. Someone who is not important. Pip squeak. Stop putting pressure on someone. Ease off. An informal dance usually in high school where girls invite boys. Sadie Hawkins dance. A very fun time. A blast. Get really angry and explode. Go ape. Hi, you. Informal. Hey, yeah. A punch. Knuckle sandwich. Really good. Swell. Focus your attention on something you want. Have one's eye on someone. A person who is not fun. Party pooper. A very cool person. 
cool cat. Relax. Take it easy. Cool it. It's no problem. No sweat. Movie or film. Flick. Now say the word and hear it in a sentence. Swell. We had a swell time at the party last night. Swell. I don't know why you don't like Tim. I think he's swell. Swell. Bowling tonight sounds like a swell idea. A blast. Roger and I went to the park and played soccer. We had a blast. A blast. Every time Josh and Carl get together, they have a blast. A blast. Come on, let's go to the carnival. It will be a blast. I've had my eye on that car for a long time, and now I'm going to buy it. I've had my eye on that new TV. I'm going to buy it when it goes on sale. Wendy had her eye on that boy since high school, but never asked him out. Ease off. You need to ease off the junk food. Ease off. Matt is putting so much pressure on me these days. I wish he would ease off. Ease off. You're pushing Susie too much. You should ease off a bit. Cool it. Just cool it. Now is not the right time to get angry. Cool it. You need to cool it and stop yelling at me. Cool it. Don't cry, Pam. Just cool it. It'll be okay. EnglishPod.com Hey, Tracy. How are you doing? I'm swell, Sandy. L- hey, listen. You want to go to the sock hop with me this Friday? It'll be a blast. First of all, it's the Sadie Hawkins dance. The girls gotta ask the guys. Also... Oh, right. So, when are you gonna ask me? I've had my eye on you for a while. Hey, buddy, ease off my girl, man. Or do you want a knuckle sandwich? Cool it, guys. Your girl? Says who? Says me, Pipsqueak. squeak. <sighs>